our last video on bioengineered foods went absolutely viral and it proved one thing to me you all want to know exactly what you're putting in your body so today we're taking this mission on a road I am right here at the grocery store and we're going to go inside and expose many several common everyday products that most people buy every single week completely unaware that they contain bioengineered BE ingredients okay we're going to go past the obvious things like corn and soy we know those are bioengineered all right we're gonna go down the baking aisle even the dairy section we're going to find the products that contain bioengineered foods now I need you all to grab a notebook because you're going to want to take notes on what to look for on those labels so let's get ready to head on in you're gonna be shocked you're gonna be shocked at what's in your cart okay first I'll up taco shells who doesn't love taco shells now these are the hard taco shells and this is old El Paso all right but if you look on the side it clearly says contains bioengineered food product all right so be aware if you are buying taco shells now we are in the bakery section who doesn't like brownies look these this one right here is a particularly famous one because it has the nuts already in it and as you can see the brownies the brownies contain bioengineered food product all right you have to look closely you have to look on all sides now I looked at this Duncan Hines one here that I have right now in my hand and I could not find bioengineered food on it but I did not scan that QR code so that doesn't mean just because you do not see it written on the box that it does not contain it I looked on this box up and down and on both sides and nothing is specifically written okay but on the side of the box there was a QR code all right now Jiffy Mix, Jiffy Mix, you guys, okay? How many, including myself, how many of us use Jiffy Mix? I use it when I'm ready to do a hack, something quick. Jiffy Mix, yes, it tastes good. I like it too, but look, contains bioengineered food ingredients, all right? Who doesn't or who has not used Jiffy Mix? Look, America's favorite, okay? Corn muffin mix. Check your corn muffin mix. Okay, now, cereal bars. All right, how many of us have had cereal bars? This is Mott's. Even giving them to our kids, all right, contains bioengineered foods. Cereal bars. Grits. Okay, grits, y'all. <laughs> now, I tend to like to buy yellow corn polenta okay organic yellow corn polenta it does not contain any bioengineered products but grits these grits yeah bioengineered food product it's right there on the label contains bioengineered food ingredient all right so check your grits all right or buy polenta our cereal now we know cereal isn't a sugary hot mess anyway but a favorite of a lot of people kellogg's corn flakes how many of us have eaten these from childhood on up contains a bioengineered food product okay but the thing about it is yes these are sugary frosted flakes but it's not just your sugary cereals all right look at this kellogg special k you think okay i'm gonna get the healthy one all right it still contains a bioengineered food ingredient. And you think you're buying something that's healthier because, well, it's special K, all right? It has protein and vitamins and minerals. No, just no, all right? And our goldfish. How many of you guys got goldfish in your cabinet right now? Okay, the goldfish contains bioengineered product. 
Goldfish. We love those goldfish. How many of us have had those for snacks for our kids? Not to mention Cheez-Its. Yes, guys, Cheez-Its. We love Cheez-Its. All right. But they contain a bioengineered food ingredient. All right. And I even have a recipe on my cooking channel of how to make your own homemade Cheez-Its. All right. So read these labels. Read these labels. Now, who used evaporated milk in your cooking this holiday season? All right. Evaporated milk. All you need to do is take milk and reduce it by half. But this one contains a bioengineered ingredient. All right. It's evaporated milk, all right, and product of USA. Now, muffins, all right, muffins. How many of you guys have bought these? Quick muffin mix, easy, simple, and contains bioengineered food ingredient. Here's another one. Classic Alfredo sauce, all right? Alfredo sauce is really easy to make. At least my version is. All right. It doesn't even take many ingredients. But how many of you all have used this classic Alfredo sauce? Well, guys, that's it. Let me head on out of this store so we can chat or about what we saw in the store. Okay. We made it out of the store. And if there is one thing that I hope you all learned today, it's that it isn't about being scared of the grocery store or food. It's about being informed. Look at all the common food we found and those snack crackers. The USDA bioengineered label is now on so many everyday items. And I believe the industry hopes you just don't notice it. But we do. We do notice it. And we have the power to choose alternatives. Things like organic products or those that are actually labeled non-GMO project verified. And if you want to get into deeper discussions about these topics, join my channel members where we hold live in-depth panel discussions. Now, if this video helped you learn just one thing about what you're putting in your cart, please do me a huge favor hit that like and hype button and share this video out with anyone that you believe needs to see this, needs to know this information. My channel is dedicated to keeping you alert about recalls, hidden scams, and food warnings like this. So if you want to stay one step ahead of the latest hidden dangers that hit, please hit subscribe, all right? And let me know, let me know in the comments below What's the most surprising BE food you found on this list today? I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.